Professor Matt. Let me start by apologizing. I appreciate you've been waiting for this tuition for three, maybe four weeks. So let's just get started, shall we? Now, I understand you're looking to visit Spain or, you know, our Spanish country for the first time, and you just want a gentle introduction to the very beautiful language that is Spanish. Now, I actually have a Peruvian student who has very kindly prepared a board for me. And what we'll do in today's session, take you through very basic and very straightforward common words and phrases, okay, with a few amendments and explanations. which we can erase and rewrite as necessary, okay? Now, I appreciate you have maybe zero experience with Spanish. Relax, that's why you're here. You're in safe hands, okay? Now, Aprendiendo español con Matt. Learning Spanish with Matt. That's easy, right? Now, my student, Elizabeth, has kindly jotted down each of these common phrases we will go through and I will write and translate the English. Okay? So let me start with the title. Español, learning, Spanish, con, with, Matt, which is me. Okay. I think you're with me so far. Now, we will take this slowly. We can repeat as many times as you like and as you need. Okay. I also record the session so you can replay it back to yourself. And repetition is the easiest way to learn. Okay? One more time. Aprendiendo. Aprendiendo. Español. Learning Spanish. Con Matt. With Matt. Now you say it back. Aprendiendo español con Matt. Bien. <laughs> we'll get to that. Okay. Now we're going to start very simple. 
maybe you're meeting somebody for the first time. Okay? It's the first thing you do when you meet somebody. Besides run away and avoid conversation. <laughs> right? We say hello. Hola. 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 Which means, very simply, hello. And you will need to accept my apology. For one, my writing isn't as neat as Elizabeth's. And two, I'm left-handed. And three, I'm also dyslexic. Then hopefully you can read that says hello. It is not me you're looking for. It's a terrible joke, I'm sorry. Hola. 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 Which means hello. Okay. Fairly straightforward. Good. Now next phrase it's a little bit more complicated but we'll take it easy como te llamas como te llamas como te llamas como te llamas This means, what is your name? What is your name? Or, if that's maybe too difficult, or the llamas, llamas, is a little bit too complicated, you can also say, and this is less common, ¿Cuál es tu Nombre. ¿Cuál es tu nombre? ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Both of these mean, what is your name? things to note here, but the most obvious, the upside down question mark. In Spanish, they denote a question at the beginning. In the English language, we only reference a question with a question mark at the end of the sentence. So you only really find out it's going to be a question at the end. In Spanish, they give you an early warning to say, oh, take care. There's a question. The beginning and at the end. Okay. Como te llamas? ¿Cuál es tu nombre? What is your name? Okay, good. I knew you would get this. Of course, your accomplishments are no reflection of you. They're purely a reflection of myself. Okay. Okay. Como estás? Como estás? Como estás? Como estás? Como 
estás? How are you? How are you? How are you? Good. How are you? Como estás? Como estás? Como estás? How are you? Really straightforward, right? Good. Okay. Now, to answer that question, if somebody says, How are you? You can say, Bien, gracias. Bien, gracias. Which means good, thank you. Gracias meaning thank you. Bien meaning good. I'm trying not to write squint here, but I'm holding a board. You need to forgive me. <laughs> Bien. Gracias. Good. Thank you. Bien. Gracias. And a response to Como estás? But maybe, maybe you don't feel quite so great. Maybe you're between. You're not good and you're not bad, you know? Maybe you are maso menas. Maso menas. Maso menas. Maso menas. And that means so-so. I'm so-so. How are you? I'm so-so. I'm okay. You know? So we'll write so-so. So-so. Maso menos. Maso menos. Más o menos. ¿Cómo estás? Más o menos. But maybe, maybe today isn't a good day. Maybe today isn't the day you get to learn Spanish with Professor Matt. Maybe it's a Monday, which coincidentally is when you're learning Spanish. But... No. Muy bien. No. Muy bien. No. Muy bien. I'm bad. I'm, I'm not so good. No. Muy bien. Muy bien. No. Muy bien. ¿Cómo estás? No. Muy bien. Ok. Ok. Now, maybe you've met somebody, you've asked how they are, you've asked how you are, you've asked their name. And you're quite happy to have met this person. So you might say... Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Mucho 
gusto mucho gusto mucho gusto means nice to meet you Mucho gusto. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Okay. All right. Now, this next one's a little bit trickier, but you're picking up everything I'm telling you, you're absorbing it. So let's try. Ten un buen dia. Ten un buen dia. Ten un buen dia. Ten un buen dia. Have a nice day. Ten un buen dia. Don't confuse bien for buen. Bien is good. Buen. Bien and buen. Okay. Ten un Buen dia. Have a nice day. I may or may not. I've just run my cuff on oh, some of Elizabeth's hard work. Shh, we shall ever know. Okay. Ten on bien. Buen, not bien. Ten. See you soon. See you soon. Nos vemos pronto. 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 See you soon. Vemos pronto. See you soon. Nos vemos pronto. See you soon. Okay. Now. Maybe it's time to say goodbye. Nobody likes to say goodbye. I know. But in Spanish, we say adios, 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 adios. And after adios, adios, which is goodbye, maybe you want to say 
goodbye, my love. Adios, amor, amor, love, goodbye, love. Maybe it's your friend. Adios, amigo, adios, amigo, adios, amigo, adios, amigo. Or you can say adios, amiga, amiga, amiga. If you're saying goodbye to a girlfriend, a friend who is a girl, you say amiga with the A. A is the feminine, O is the masculine. If you're saying goodbye to your boyfriend, adios, amigo, girlfriend, Amiga, amiga, boyfriend, amigo. Adios, amigo. Goodbye. Goodbye. more to go. Now, maybe you want to say thank you. Now, we covered this earlier, but maybe you're really enthusiastic. So, thank you is gracias, gracias, gracias. Maybe you want to say thank you very much, muchos, which means lots. Muchos gracias. Muchos gracias. Muchos gracias. Very, believe it or not, that does say very much. You might also be wondering how it is that a professor has such poor handwriting. Thankfully, the good people at this university don't discriminate against poor handwriting. Okay. And in the vein of hoping, por favor, please, por favor, por favor, please. Please, por favor, por favor, por favor, please. And the last, it's my favorite word in Spanish. And it's considered one of the most difficult words to say. Not the technicality of the word, but the meaning associated. Lo siento, lo siento, lo siento, lo siento, which means sorry. Lo siento. Lo siento. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This lesson is almost over. Lo siento. Now we covered a lot. And I'm very aware of that fact. We'll go through it quickly. Once again, as I said, this session is recorded, as will all our learning Spanish sessions be. So again, feel free to review and revisit it anytime at your convenience. And I would encourage you to anyway, at least once. Statistics suggest that we are 70% K-1 
give or take, in some cases, more likely to remember something if we repeat. Okay? Repetition is key to absorbing a new language. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Until it becomes second nature. Okay? So. Aprendiendo español. Aprendiendo. Aprendiendo español. Learning Spanish. Con. With. Matt. Matt. Aprendiendo español. Aprendiendo español. Learning Spanish. Hola. 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 Hello. Como te llamas? Llamas. Como te llamas? ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Tu nombre. What is your name? What is your name? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? How are you? One of the most important questions you can ask a person, I think. Especially if it's asked with sincerity and concern and a little bit of compassion. As is the Spanish way. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, gracias. Bien, gracias. Gracias. Good. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Más o menos. Más o menos. ¿Cómo estás? Más o menos. So, so. I've been better, but I've been worse. No. Muy bien. No me bien. Not so good. Not good. Today isn't the best day for me. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mucho gusto. Ten un buen día. Ten un buen día. Buen día. Buen día. Ten un buen día. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Have a really nice day. I shouldn't add the really. There's not much on. Nos vemos pronto. Nos vemos pronto. Nos vemos pronto. Pronto. See you soon. See you soon. Adios. Amor. Adios, amor. Adios, amor. Goodbye, love. Goodbye, love. Adios, amigo. Adios, amigo. Adios, amigo. Adios, amigo. Adios, amiga. Adios, amiga. Goodbye, my friend. Gracias, gracias, muchas gracias, gracias, muchas gracias. Thank you, thank you so much, so much. Po 
por favor, por favor, por favor, por favor, please, please, please. And my favorite, and maybe your favorite now too, lo siento, lo siento. Lo siento. Lo siento. I'm sorry. We're almost out of time. It has been my absolute pleasure. Absolutely. We can arrange a part two and who knows, maybe even a part three. For next time, we can focus on Maybe ordering some food or some coffee. Some of the best coffee in the world is served in Spain. Spanish roast is mm, strong and dark. Well, I'd like to think I won't make you wait three to four weeks for the next appointment. I don't actually do that many one-to-one tuition -one lessons. to make an exception. of the recording of the lecture and I hope you found today useful and informative I appreciate that it can be a lot to take in the older you get generally the harder it is to pick up a new language but that doesn't mean it's impossible people learn new languages in three months at any age and the fact that it's something you want to undertake is exceptional. And I am more than happy to help guide you through. Okay? I'm Professor Matt. And it's been a real pleasure. Again, I do apologize. I was running a little late. I'm a busy guy. I, your patience... I appreciate it. Okay? Yeah, just uh, give me a call. Drop me an email and we'll get session two organized. And, yeah. Mm. As I said, ordering food in a restaurant, coffee. Uh, I can explain some of the wonders of, um... <laughs> yeah, tostada. Coffee and uh, tostada. Cafe con leche. We'll get there. Okay? I'll see you soon. Thank you very much.
Take care.